guys it's Clara welcome back to my channel this video is this week's Aldi haul it's kind of a big one because we just came back from vacation we need to stock up on some stuff and we're hosting a Mexican night stay tuned All right, we have somebody coming over for a little tea party, so this is going to be a quick video. Uh, this was on sale today. It's the shrimp and crab ravioli. It's in the frozen section. Might wait till next week to use this, but thought I'd get it while it's on sale. A couple heads of iceberg lettuce, bag of limes, some broccoli, some cherries at the bottom there, and two containers of blueberries. Decided to try their quinoa. I'm going to be making a salad with those. Some chickpeas or garbanzo beans a couple of containers of eggs. And for our little tea party today, we'll have this 7-Up cake. Looks delicious. Also for National Cheesecake Day, <laughs> which was last week, uh, bought a couple of slices of the cheesecake. Roma tomatoes, some cucumbers, we'll be making salads with those. And I'm so glad that you can find fresh mozzarella at Aldi. How cool is that? It was something like $2 and something cents. So nice to find. Some red grapes, my fave, a bag of pears. A couple packages of the Sharp Cheddar Shredded. These are pretty good, I've tried these before. It's the Live Gluten-Free Sweet Chili Brown Rice Chips. Yum, yum. Some cilantro, which I pretty much put in anything Mexican, almost. The Medium Chunky Salsa. Some mayo, that's hiding behind the cheese. Some heavy whipping cream for some soups that I'll be making this month. Some light sour cream. And decided to try these tortilla chips. These are the restaurant tortilla strips. And then I, just as a backup, have the white round tortilla chips in case we run out during the party. Some bananas. Thank goodness they were green this week. And in this Target bag, it's still Aldi stuff, is the Never Any chicken thighs and the chicken breasts. I like to bring these plastic bags with me to Aldi. Sometimes they don't have the grocery style plastic bags within which you could put the meat. So I like having those on hand just in case. For $8, there was a girls three piece pajama set. So it's a size eight medium. They were pretty, um, scantily stocked on that. Then the Good Grades first grade workbook. It was something like $4.99. And then per usual, the Bella V lime sparkling water in grapefruit and lime. Believe it or not, all of these groceries, including the healthier kind of meat, was under $100. The total came out to like $98. And if I didn't buy this stuff, it would be like 80 something dollars. So I love Aldi. Does anybody else love Aldi? Oh yeah. Meal plan for this week. On vacation, I was given some shawarma spice. If you don't know what that is, it's a Middle Eastern kind of thing. It is so good with chicken, with lamb, so delicious. I've never made it before, so this is gonna be a new venture for me, but it goes particularly well with fatty cuts of meat, like lamb or chicken thighs. So Sunday we'll be doing the chicken shawarma with some veggies uh, and then I'll have on the side mint and chickpea salad. Monday we'll continue with the chicken shawarma, but I'll put that in a wrap. And then a side of that will be a cucumber salad. Tuesday will be eggs with tagine, eggs over easy for me and daddy. And then for Boo, she likes them scrambled. And then we'll continue with the cucumber salad for Tuesday. Wednesday will be a broccoli salad with some bacon bits alongside the Annie's soup that I bought from Dollar Tree. Thursday, chicken tacos with pickled red cabbage. I've never made this before either, but I'll have to go to another store to find it because Aldi did not have red cabbage. Friday is almond chicken with mango tomato salsa, and then Saturday will be a seafood ravioli or we'll go out to eat somewhere like Thai food. So that is it for this meal plan and Aldi grocery haul. Any meals that you've been loving lately, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.